Hi, I'm Jürgen and this is a quick overview into the ILD Render Converter. You can find it here on Automatic Brain and uh, on, on the webpage you can find all the infos and uh, details on installation and uh, the use of the uh, program can be found here in the wiki. So, what is ILD Render for? It's uh, for converting things from Blender and from Inkscape. S I already downloaded the setup, so um, installing it is easy. You just start the installer, you choose your options, and you choose your license file here uh, and then you install everything. Uh, you can choose for which uh, version of Blender and Inkscape you want to install the plugin. So in this case I use uh, only Blender 2.9 and Inkscape 1 and I will just open it right away and um, when it opens up the first thing that I will do is I will um, here in the configuration and I will disable all the things I don't need uh, and enable the uh, duck here uh, the laser output here for, for uh, my laser graph DSP here in the uh, projector tab you can then choose the the, uh, um, the DSP by Refreshing the the uh, ducks and I choose my DSP. This will load the template for displaying the converged converted files and uh, Yeah, enabling the laser output and uh, Displaying the test pattern uh, is uh, Can be used to double check the output as you can see there is uh, the grid is shown here. I will open the preview and put it um, um, on top of everything so we'll see what we'll do uh, in the preview. So uh, we, we are going to open Inkscape but first I will disable the um, test pattern here by uh, using the disable button. So Inkscape and I will open uh, a template from Automatic Brain that comes with the app. It's installed in, in the program uh, folder in a subdirectory called examples. And to convert this file, you just go to extensions and there is the plugin ILD render and you open the, f um, the plugin menu and then press apply. This sends uh, the file to the, the uh, app which converts it and sends it to the laser graph DSP. And um, now it is displayed here in the template that has been loaded when we connect it to the DSP. Beside the template or, or the edit in the film, you can use the picture editor to um, check your frame. The only thing is that in the picture editor you don't see the true color information, right? So uh, if you want to see the colors, um, you can uh, or you should use the template. So uh, next thing is Blender. I open Blender and before I open the template uh, I will just double check uh, in the preferences the um, plugin if it's uh, installed. Here you can see, yeah, there it is, render ILD export is enabled. And now I'm gonna open the example file that uh, came with installation. Uh, you can find it in the Blender folder in the examples directory. Rendering the image will convert the file and send it to the DSP and the DSP will display that in real time. Of course there are a lot of uh, options and values uh, for converting. I will just show you one thing here with the interpolation and this will uh, directly change the amount of points as you can see in the in the um, refresh rate on my preview. 
Yeah, there are a lot more options, of course. Um, I'll just check the wiki for, for, for details here. So, um, the... Um, to uh, let's let's come to an, an animation file i have here uh, a flying toaster uh, flying through the the camera um, viewport and um, there is a, a a difference in 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 handling the the animation uh, in the app mm, you see i rendered first i rendered the frame to show you the the the, the uh, toaster Rendering the animation will not display the animation in real time while rendering the picture. Yeah. So uh, when rendering an animation, you have to wait until uh, the rendering of the whole sequence uh, is finished before you can display it on, on the laser output. With these uh, buttons here, you can go through the animation frames or you just uh, press the play button that will play the animation in a loop. And um, important to know is or to understand is that the animation is sent in real time to the DSP. It is not saved and not yet available um, in, inside the DSP for pro programming. Yeah, um, To to send it over into the memory of the DSP, you go to the project tab, and then uh, first I will I will change the name here from from scene. I will call it uh, demo, and then there is this save to device uh, button where you can export it um, to the DSP. So this will send the frames to the DSP and we will double check this here in the files, uh, file system with the listing of that catalog. And you see we have 100 pictures here in that demo catalog. Yeah, well, um, I think that's the main stuff I can show you here. Um, the link to the automatic brain website is in the description. Thanks for watching.